Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Flying and Dine. Today, we're heading for the one here in Miami. Hey, do you guys have any extra tickets? Um, I don't, bro. Sorry. Um, as you can see, everyone's looking for tickets, looking for parking. It took me an hour to find parking. Finally, paid someone 60 bucks. I'm super far from the stadium, but let me shut up and let me pay these people. Go inside and let's get racing. Or I really don't know what to say. So let's go. First two practice sessions was really yeah. sorry. Get a little wiggle there as he goes to ground. Keep remembering folks that you know, these guys Okay guys, let's get this brief tour started. So this is my first time in a Formula One event. It was super organized. They had these lifts that would take you around the park. Now do bring comfortable shoes if you ever decide to come to Formula One because you do have to walk a lot. But I do have to reiterate, the organization was amazing. There was maps everywhere and there was friendly staff ready to help you at every single stop. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you a view of the grandstand of the first turn so you can see the race clearly. But first I wanna show you a little bit of the surrounding, so let's go. A lot of different events, a lot of tennis tournaments, a lot of huge events in general. But this event was packed with entertainment. They really go the extra mile to take care of their guests. This is the Hendrix Bar. They had like this little show set up. Um, I thought it was such a cool vibe. They were giving out um, abanicos. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Uh, in English, sorry. It's those hand fans. But anyway, the Hendrix Bar had three set drinks already. They were all delicious, they were strong, and they were so worth the price. Alright, I've yet to find my seats. It's hot as hell. Woo! But the gin bar gave me this, and it's absolutely delicious. Love it. Second in a one minute 30. He lost a little bit in that last 
this is another crucial component. No Saints right to the wall at the exit of 16. But whenever you have a corner that leads on to the very strange of the checkers, it's a crucial corner to get through without any loss of momentum, any loss of speed. Here we go. What does Saints do? Currently back in six as he comes through. Stays in six at this point. He's coming to the stripe. We'll see if he can do it. Nice. What a lap by Schumacher. All right, guys, so the energy here is crazy. I love the mix of cultures. Like Hispanic culture is definitely present here. There's arepa stands, there's hot dog stands, there's burger stands. All the food options are great. The alcohol options are great as well. I'm going to head up into the stands because it's time for the qualifying race. Um, really, really hot, but totally worth it. Now, this was an unexpected surprise. It was very nice. Post Malone performed. He did great. Unfortunately, I have to take off the music because of licensing, um, whatever it's called. But you will see him drink out of the boot, which is something very typical they do in Australia, I believe. I don't know if he's Australian, but just a cool experience. I've never seen Post Malone perform. At the Formula One, Maluma also performed, but unfortunately, I did not take a video.
in the top for sub 131 in the guys so all the madness is behind me now to sum this all up would i pay the 1000 2500 3000 5000 9000 that these tickets cost i would not even if i had it you know i travel a lot and everything i just don't think it's worth it but i do think it's worth experiencing one time in your lifetime so if you're invited to formula one definitely come um but in miami oh, the heat was awful but the food offerings were great, the energy was great, the vibe was great. Um, very interesting. I'm happy I came. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to Flying and Dine. And I hope you guys enjoyed the next episode of Mexico 24-7. I'll explain what that means later. Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs>